What is this? Like 20 bucks? 20 bucks! Wow! Man, I should go on Price is Right. <laughs> That's also cool. He does a dive every time you go into water. Yeah. It's like these little things that always make me the happiest on games, like the little details. Yeah, especially on this one because it's such a huge leap from the previous generation. Yeah. Mind you, Wind Waker was a very solid game. I really did. Wind Waker's awesome. I would say probably better than this one, even though I do like this game. I don't know. I mean, like, towards the end part where it's like, just gather all of the triumph forks, and just, uh... Like, all you have to do is get enough money to s decipher maps, and there aren't any other bosses. Uh, cut to me. Because, like, I love boss fights. <laughs> And I hate when boss fights are just recolored versions of a previous boss fights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you're fucked. Huh. I guess they didn't get that thing in this room. There's a thingy! Monkeys! What? You bitch! You're at it again! <laughs> you will not sit idly by while this is happening just before, well, just behind my back. I'm taking my buddy and I am leaving. Try finding someone else to train you for monkey cage fighting. <laughs> Woman, you had your chance! <laughs> that would have been a little cooler if you hadn't fallen. <laughs> Why didn't we invent a soap opera about morons know. and monkeys and cage fighting? I, I don't know. <laughs> Things happened. So I'm just hanging around and, uh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't know if that end would have made me fall in water or not, so I took the scenic route. I feel like hanging from, from one arm like that is actually pretty impressive. Yeah, it can be taxing to do it like your entire body weight with just one arm. Okay, where's, alright. Well, it's his entire body weight, plus I'm pretty sure he's wearing, like, a chain shirt underneath, and he's got all his weapons and stuff. And he, like, he wasn't even, like, anything for it. There was no sign of, like, man, this is kind of hard. Yeah. Maybe it's because he had training for monkeys. No, it's from all of that goat wrangling. Oh my god, we got Saruman's staff! <laughs> Doesn't it look like that? It does now that you mention it. Okay, and there's another treasure chest somewhere nearby. Underneath you, maybe? There's water. Maybe. Oh, I wonder if I can go fishing here. Oh, hey! How about that? That's a pretty good secret. I like the whole thing of having stuff hidden where you couldn't find it unless you had the uh, compass. Totally. It's like that's the entire purpose of the compass. Oh yeah, I forgot you can swim faster. He swims kind of odd. Yeah. Maybe it's just the awkward way you swim when you have that much heavy crap on your back. Maybe. I don't know. I can't say that I've ever tried to swim. I swim all kinds of awkward. Oh! Anything? You don't even have any bait. Fish are dumb. Oh well. Alright, fine. I'll do this for my off time. Fishing without some kind of like lure or something is actually really, really hard. Now you can catch perch if you just take the hook and bug them enough. It's still really hard though. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, where to next? Boss fight. Or oh. That's what I missed. Forgot about that other door. And, oh yeah, we forgot to totally not get the chicken, so I'm gonna just keep forgetting that. Yep, that's a good plan. Like, what were they thinking on that one? It's like, first of all, it's like, let's have a thing that can bring you back out of the dungeon wherever you want. It's like, okay, cool. Like, Burr's Wind. Yeah. But fucking creepy. Yeah, let's make it look like a chicken with the face of a human. That's not totally creepy and... And then we'll give it a child that that looks just like a baby head with wings coming out of it. <laughs> That's what it fucking looks like. It's like, how is that not creepy? It's terrible and really creepy and... Totally not worth picking up. <laughs> Okay, well I ain't going that way. That looks like a truck. That looks like that part of the plot where it's like, oh, now you need to do this side quest you can't figure out on your own. Oh no! They're trapped in here with me! Wow. Surely their use of strategy, plus that flanking bonus, really came to their aid! What's all this crap over here? This is one of the more annoying parts of this level though. Cause like you gotta figure out which is the right one to fall into and if you... Oh yeah. Come on, guys. Don't act like you're not there. Yeah! <laughs> That's super cool. Let's do it again! Kick ass. Kick all kinds of ass. Is it this one? It's probably not. Is it this one? It's probably not. Okay, now I gotta use something called camera control. It is this one! Yay! How's it going, Sergio? <laughs> Okay. Beats the crap out of falling in that one. Yeah, no kidding. We're just standing right next to it as it's happening. The spider's like, I'm just gonna go. I'm. This is awkward. I'm. I'm gonna get out of here real quick. Is it over? I can't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> Come on. Man, those guys are tough. Yeah. My whole problem with them is just the timing thing of like how to get them. Oh, you have to like wait for that moment. I don't even need you. Well, I think that's it for this place. Oh boy. Part of me wants to just speed this up and like post, but not gonna. 
You're gonna have to wade through it. You're gonna have to feel my pain. Well, that was a good time. Come on, Sergio, let's meet your buddies. Okay, I need a key for this. But I'm guessing I gotta go that way to get to the room where the key is. Yes, it's probably in one of the treasure chests that is not behind the lock door. Just call it a hunch. Yeah. Wait, wrong way. See, he was almost late for his aerobics class. <laughs> Check out this place completely and we gotta help the monkeys. Or, or, we could get a jetpack. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm gonna vote for jetpack. Alright, we got one vote for jetpack. We all vote for jetpack too. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, seven votes for jetpack. Okay, now notice how Sergio's the only one who's not going in time with everyone else. It's because Sergio's a rebel. <laughs> and I can respect that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and nip this in the bud while I saw the chance. Oh, you moved. A little higher. There it goes. Anybody else want to play? No? Okay. You ever use a boomerang before? No. My dad used to have one, and I always would fuck up, tr like I would try to use it, but I would never do it right. Because the only place I've ever seen it used is on Zelda. <laughs> it was like, no, but like the first Zelda. The top down one. So I'm always was throwing it sideways. <laughs> well, it's a good thing there's no spiders here. It's almost as if somebody decided to nip that one in the bud. Spider genocide with the dummy. Arachnocide! Dude, Arachnocide would be a cool band name. <laughs> or at least a cool song. Yeah, totally. Arachnocide by Insanity Shotgun. <laughs> that reminds me, we've got to play, uh, what was it called? Uh, Eternal Darkness. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this is true. Oh, fuck! I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot just long enough. I know, it's like the part where you're in mid-air you're just going, No, no, wait, I didn't mean it, sorry! Well, that needs explosives. Oh yeah, I remember this. Ah, uh, let's see here. How did it work? Where are the bug bombs? Oh yeah. You, you I are the bug bombs. We had to like push a bunch of times on there or something because it has to like blow up. God, that's such a cool way of doing stuff. And you also have to use it to get over to that big guy. The big guy. Well, isn't it like if you just do it once, it'll come to you and you can throw him the rest of the way? Yeah. Apparently this is true. No. Heartburn. Yeah, I'm dead. 
totally dead, guys. <laughs> you don't even know how dead I am. There's your key. Awesome. Right on you. So, I'm wondering, like, in terms of this game, if you ever got turned into a dog, what would you want to do? I don't know, what's cool that like, dogs do that working well? Um... Like, run around and stuff, I guess? It's pretty good at running. Oh, yeah, right, I gotta fucking sever your fucking head! Otherwise, you're just an endless pinata. I would say barking and howling, but I can do that pretty good already. But I learned that from dogs, so... Yeah, you see, most people when they get dogs, they think, like, oh, the dog's becoming part of the family. When my parents got a dog, it's more like our son became another pet. <laughs> what do I do with this thing? Oh fuck, oh fuck! Yeah, I kind of wanted to push it closer, but then I realized it's a bomb. Oh yeah, it's a bomb. I kind of wish that he would carry his bombs like over his head, like Batman style, instead yeah. of just the side of his head. I know. Gonzalez is free. I know if I had to carry a bomb, it would be over my head. Batman taught me everything I know. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. 